Hi guys, Anna is here and in this video we're going to cover everything you need to know about amino acids and their structure for your biology A level, so please grab a piece of paper and without further ado let's get into it. It's very important to uh, learn amino acid structure, it comes quite often in the exams, but firstly as a reminder that amino acid is an example of a monomer which will, where many monomers join together and they make polypeptide or protein. Okay, so remember the definition of a polymer is many monomers joined together, and in this case, amino acids will make polypeptides, which will then fold and make a protein. Okay, so let's jump into drawing an actual amino acid structure. Okay, so I want you guys to draw a single carbon right in the middle, which will have four bonds coming out of it. And then we're going to start with the right-hand side, where we're going to add a carboxyl group. So it's going to be a carbon with the double bond O and OH. Together this makes a carboxyl group, which you might be required to label in the exam. Now we move on and let's go to the left-hand side where we're going to draw in uh, a nitrogen with two hydrogens. And this group is called amine group or amino group. So you can use both terminology to label that. Okay. And then we'll have a hydrogen at the bottom and there is going to be a group which we'll refer to as R. This group is called a variable group. So let's label it here. And it basically will vary from amino acid to amino acid. And examples could be a, an extra hydrogen or an H3 or COOH. Okay, and there are quite a few of those groups which you can look up separately, but you don't have to know them, for example. And basically, the variation of those groups is what gives the variety to amino acids. And in nature, we have in total 20 amino acids, which you're not required to know for A level unless you want to go and study molecular biology at university. Anyway, guys, this is the structure of amino acid that you need to learn. So please do so and let's jump into the next topic. So now we're going to go through on how to join two amino acids together. So please draw two amino acids side by side. I'm just going to be a bit lazy and just copy this over. When two molecules join together, and this is biological molecules, this is usually due to the condensation reaction. So basically what I want you guys to have a look is is condensation reaction is the removal of the water molecule from joining two molecules. So if I ask you to look at the structures now, we can see that basically the water molecule can be removed from OH of the carboxyl group together with an H of an amine group. Okay, and now pause and basically try to draw this. So how two amino acids are going to be joined together? Okay, so if you had a go at this, um, let's just compare our answers now. So I'm just copying the amino acid. I'm going to draw a carboxyl group and you need to basically now draw it at the right angle like I just did. Then we're going to basically join the nitrogen from a different amino acid, okay, with a single hydrogen and the rest of the second amino acid remains the same. So now this is a dipeptide which is joined by a single peptide bond. And voila guys, this is everything you need to know for the amino acid structure and how the uh, dipeptides form. So please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you, goodbye.